Anything I can do? If this isn't typical. I come all the way down here to report an attempted burglary and I get a ticket. Not only do I find a drunk sitting in a chief investigator's office, but I... The other cars don't have one. That one's mine. Well, will you move it, please, so I can get out of here? But Miss Jordan, I'm really a very respectable citizen. But you see, I've got my troubles too tonight. My name is Cleve Marshall. I am 35 years old and assistant district attorney. So? Well, I'm not just an ordinary drunk. See how fair this hair is? Promise of a most brilliant future. What is it you want of me? Buy a drink someplace. I'm harmless and I'm lonesome. Well, you're very appealing, but thank you just the same. Aren't you interested in men with futures? I have my own to look after. Miss Jordan, at least let me pick that ticket for you. Oh, would you? That's very kind. See how handy it is to know a man of influence? <laughs> Just for that, I suppose I ought to have one drink with you. Good, back it up and we'll In go. here on the condition that I drive. If you insist. You're the boss. I'm glad you said that because I'm no... I'm no dame, remember? I just don't understand it. He didn't have anything but coffee. That's what you think every time you got up to play the jukebox. That's what happened. Come on, mister. It's closing up time. Beach to it, didn't I? Oh, there she is. One more dance. Not now, Cleve. It's late. Isn't she wonderful? It's our anniversary. How long has it been? Three hours. I'm going to buy you an anniversary present. I got the money right here. The check has been paid. Let's go. Would you get the car, please? It's not until the music is finished. Can't let the music go to waste. Can't let anything beautiful go to waste, can we, Thomas? The minute you walked into that I office... I know, I, I know, but... No buts, ands, ifs, whereas isn't here too for us. Party of the first part? I love you, Thelma. Or have I said that before? You have. The music has stopped. Well, why don't we get out of this cheap joint? Thank you. You're welcome. I'd hate to have his head in the morning. You can try it on now for size if you like. Pretty Thelma. Thelma was a light brown. Oh, hater. let's not start that again. Not even that I'm in love with you? Not even that. Get out, Cleve. I haven't told you my troubles yet. They'll have to wait. Please, Mr. Marshall. You called me Cleve before. One minute I feel like Cleve, the next Mr. Marshall. Which way do you feel now? Mr. Marshall or Cleve? I don't know. Except I'm sorry. No, you're not. Neither am I. Maybe I am just a dame and didn't know it. Maybe I like being picked up by a guy on a binge. Can't you believe that things happen when you're in love? What's time? Day? Year? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't say it that conveniently. That's just what it is, a binge. No relationship between yesterday and tomorrow. That's all there is. There isn't any more. Get out, Cleve. No, that kind of sobered me up. You'll be all right, then. You'll drive home to whoever is waiting for you. Good night, Cleve. If I told you there's no one waiting for me, I wouldn't believe you. Drive carefully.
Cleve. Where were you on the night of May 25th? Oh, Cleve, it's inexcusable. I'm glad I didn't buy you that whatnot. It's horrible. You're just trying to change the subject. Where were you? Cleve. No ticket this time, not wedged in. I I just waited. I uh, see you brought protection. Did you come down to see Scott? And you, worrying about you if you got home all right. Yeah, sure, you know, drunks and fools. What did he say about your prowlers? He's sending out a plain clothes when he promised not to alarm Aunt Vera. Since it's her jewels that are in danger, don't you think she should know? Well, I explained that to you. I guess you've forgotten a lot about last night. Well, you don't like me in the daytime. I didn't say that. My crystal ball was right. You are married. Keep away mad. I'm not. Only I'm embarrassing you. This is a small town, I understand. I guess I got a little out of hand last night. I apologize. Accept it. So long, Cleve. Be seeing you. Bye. the car. Oh, around eight, I thought. I'd like to get an early start. It'd be easier on the children. Father, here's Cleve now. I'll call you back. Goodbye. Is something bothering you? Nice homey reception. You often threaten to do it, but I never thought you would. Leave you, Cleve. Is that what you think? After our fight this morning, I come in and find you packing. What else might I think? Only that I love you very much. not me. June 1st to September 1st, every year. The beach? It's mm. not June 1st yet. No, but Mrs. Perkins said we could have the house early. Gives us an extra weekend. Wasn't it nice of her? Why don't you change, darling? I'll tell Esther we can eat in the patio. We can barbecue if you like. Pam, let's not go to the beach this year. Not go? Well, it's a nuisance, really. Sunburns, worrying about the kids in the water all the time. Long drive for me back and forth weekends. You sound as though there's some blonde after you and you're frightened. Why did you come down every night? Sixty miles and too much night work. Besides, I don't like this house when we're not in it. That's the sweetest thing you could say. But of course we're going. Children love it, so. We have to think of them too. We can't be selfish. Anybody else you want me to call before I go? About what? About dinner. You look like a lost penguin. Some of the boys from the paper are taking us out. If you'd care to join. It'd be safe. Well, don't forget those two dudes for Mrs. Marshall. I wrote them down on your message sheet. Mrs. Marshall called to remind you to stop the milk order, get yourself a new pair of bathing trunks, Bring down a beach ball for Timmy Friday, eat three square meals daily. She thinks of the inner man. 
Ann phone garden 8409. I don't know what that last one's about. Somebody took it while I was out. Well, bye now, I'll be late. Good night, Dolly, thanks. These fruits are not heated or artificially colored, but are from nature to consumer. Gift packed in gay Mexican and Chinese baskets or traditional California redwood boxes. There's a phone call for you, Mr. Thompson, that detective. Thank you. Excuse me, Aunt Vera. Who? Who's calling, Thelma? Where's the rest of it, Sydney? Doctor or no doctor, I want my brandy. Thompson. Case of mistaken identity. This is Cleve Marshall. Oh. Hello, Cleve. I've no excuse for calling you, none whatsoever. It's just one of those things. 24 hours a day, lonesome, and they are not well. In fact, time's been full of emptiness since a certain May 25th. Oh, no. No, you can't. Not very well. Not here. If you want, I'll meet you down on the road in about 20 minutes. Yes, well, uh, thank you for calling, Mr. Thompson. 